Hello and welcome to another Helio short clip. This time about Helios version 2024 Service Pack 1, also known as Helios version 2901. The short video is about the new integration of the Cadmium Viewer into our Helios Internet server. The Cadmium Viewer is not a product of ISD, but is distributed by the company Softwise. We have made a corresponding cooperation with this company and have then integrated the Cadmium Viewer as a 3D CD format web viewer into our Helios Internet server. It is therefore used to view 3D formats in three dimensions in the web browser. And I have prepared two documents for this. That is, we may start here with the first document. This is an IFC file. So we can switch to the Graphics tab and then see our three-dimensional IFC model, model displayed directly in the browser. We can make various settings at the bottom here that affect the rotation or zoom. For example, here you can use this orbital mode so that you can rotate around the corresponding point of the mouse pointer. Zooming can be done by double-clicking on certain points. You can also zoom in and out as usual with a mouse wheel and move and rotate through the model web-based. You can prepare so-called slides to look at certain points again and again, which I have done here. So, you can define different presentations here and can then jump to predefined points. For example, jump to a single window, as predefined here. Perhaps to a balcony. And can also move and rotate, rotate through the model if there are certain views that you need again and again. Furthermore, you can also measure. For example, you can select two points here. and then get exactly the dimensions between the two points displayed. In this case, here it is 2 meters 47 centimeters in the X direction, which means that you can measure the railing directly in the web browser. You can also use the so-called clipping function. To cut the entire model and then move and rotate through the cut accordingly, which you can then see here. You can set the cut in horizontal and vertical direction as desired and then view the entire model exactly from the inside. Furthermore, the entire structural information is available here in the left-hand area. That means the structural information of the entire IFC file is available here. In this case, we could select a specific window here. You can see exactly which window it is. So, you have found the window directly here. Here, at the bottom left, you can also see all the properties for the selected object, so that you have all the information directly available. Next, I would like to go briefly to the other document, which is an NWD file. That means a CAM format that comes from Nevis Works from Autodesk. We also select this once in the Graphic tab, and here I would like to briefly explain the updating of the preview. That means that these renderings are generated on the Cadmium server and if a change is made to the file in Helios so that the file in Helios is newer than the last rendering. Then the whole thing is displayed here at the bottom. Click on Refresh and the Cadmium viewer will generate a new rendering of the current file in the background. 
so that an up-to-date preview will be available again. However, you will also see the information below that the preview is being regenerated, but you can simply continue working in the meantime. That means the Helios Internet server is not affected by this. You can continue working normally in the Helios Internet server if you want to do something else in the meantime. Otherwise, you can then select Rebuild Preview at the bottom and you will see that the new preview has been created. So the file has been changed. You can see here on the right that the wall elements have been inserted and you then have the current status of the file from Helios in your preview again. These were just some of the possibilities that are possible with the integration of the Cadmium Viewer into the Helios Internet Server. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. See you soon.